Just two weeks ago, we were talking about snowfall totals and winter weather. Now we're talking about spring like temperatures and spring showers. Now we see throughout the valley, typically 50s would be our highs, but tonight 50s are going to be our lows. And as we go to the wall here, we're going to check current conditions and then talk about those showers we're expecting later on today. Now, current conditions downtown YSU, we're looking at 54 degrees after hitting a high of 69 degrees today. And that warmth is just going to continue for the rest of the week until we hit about midweek. We'll get to that in just a second. Now, we saw several rounds of showers earlier today. We'll loop this one more time for you. We saw three different rounds. The first one coming just after lunchtime, some light showers, some heavier showers right behind that. And then currently, we're tracking a another round of showers heading towards the valley, but that's exactly what we're seeing. We're not seeing any severe thunderstorms or any thunderstorms for that matter. All that daytime heat is just eroded away and what's left showers for most of the area. Now, mainly in Columbia County, that's where they're seeing the heaviest rainfall. Earlier, we showed you just under an inch of rain has already fallen in some parts of the valley. Add to what's already going to continue to fall, and we could see upwards of over an inch in some areas. So if you're heading out Columbia County, Southern Mahoney, make sure you check First News tomorrow morning. There could be some flood advisories in place that you need to keep an eye on if you're going to be heading out tomorrow morning. But for right now, current alerts, we're not seeing any of those, but those showers will continue overnight. If we track this entire low pressure system, you can see it churning the center of it up near the northern part of Michigan, but those three different rounds of showers we saw earlier still pushing through the valley. Now this will last for the next two hours or so. Then we're going to see some spotty hit or miss showers. Now you can see these light showers up near the northern part near Toledo, northern part of Ohio. That's going to wrap around and start heading into the valley over the morning hours. So tomorrow morning we could see some light showers off and on, but nothing too significant. Then behind us, all the way in the Great Plains, this system and this new low pressure system eventually going to push its way back into the valley. We're going to see, unfortunately, another round of showers and storms on Tuesday. We'll track that out in future tracker for you, though. We are seeing those cooler or cooler temperatures when we say cooler into the low to mid 50s for tonight. But we're going to see those showers linger on just for the next couple of hours, but they will dissipate as we get into tomorrow morning. We're looking at two, three o'clock in the morning when most of us are sleeping. But also notice that we could see that light spotty shower as we go throughout the morning hours. So you might need an umbrella for your commute to work or just a light jacket just for that spotty showers. But by the afternoon, we will be dry. And even as we go through the afternoon hours, we could see some sunshine. It should be a beautiful end to our Monday morning. But by the time we get into Tuesday, we are tracking, unfortunately, more showers. We'll play that out for you all the way until Monday night, right around midnight. We are expecting some cooler temperatures to start pushing to the valley. Start seeing some 40s, even some 30s back into the forecast. But coming with that are going to be more showers, maybe the possibility as well, some storms. But then if we queue it out all the way until Wednesday, we are going to see that clearing back in the forecast, but some colder temperatures and more spring like temperatures after that. Tonight, we're expecting a low right around 51 degrees. Those scattered showers and the chance of thunderstorms still linger on for tonight and will taper off by tomorrow morning. 64 is going to be our high for tomorrow, another warm day and a spring like day. And then we see that trend continue as we look into our seven day forecast. Now, notice Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, we're still looking at highs in the 50s, even some beautiful sunshine, but colder temperatures for our lows, 33 for Wednesday night, but spring-like temperatures and spring-like showers back in the forecast by next weekend. You're watching Twitter.